Just about an hour ago, we now have Tropical Storm Claudette, which just made landfall in southern Louisiana. Uh, more details on what we can expect for the storm coming right up. Now, this is Good Morning Augusta on WJBF News Channel 6. Good morning, I'm Sean Cabbage Stop. Thank you for joining us. We begin with breaking. Authorities in Washington County, Georgia, are investigating a drive-by shooting. It happened in the Tennille area just before 11 o'clock last night. At last check, several people were being treated for gunshot wounds. Georgia Highway 15 south of Tennille, between Old Savannah Road and Indian Hill Road, were closed for a short time. No word on the status of that closure. The GBI is investigating. Well, as I mentioned previously, Tropical Storm Claudette did form as of the 5 a.m. advisory this morning. Now, here's a look at our satellite and radar back here in Augusta. Just some clouds passing by this morning, so a calm start to the morning, but we definitely have a lot of rain on the way. Here's a broader look at satellite and radar. Notice the low pressure area down here with this uh, tropical storm that is now just at the coast of Louisiana and will be impacting our area as we go into later this afternoon. Here's a look at the tropical storm uh, information here. Uh, wind speeds at 45 miles per hour, so it is a weak tropical storm. It actually was just classified as one just about an hour ago, so it's going to weaken very quickly as it starts to move over land. Here's a look at that track for this storm. It starts to stay as a tropical storm as it reaches Mississippi, but then as by the time it goes to us at about um, uh, 2 a.m. Monday morning will be just a low pressure area and then as it moves back over the, the warm waters that's when it'll strengthen once again to a tropical storm and no longer will impact the United States. The live Viper 6 showing a lot of activity happening down to the south of us over in Mobile. Uh, actually where I just moved from, tornado warning happening right there. A lot of heavy rainfall affecting the Gulf Coast right now and as I mentioned nothing happening in our area yet but I'll definitely have more details on what we can expect later on. Back to you. Thank you, Jenna. And the upcoming weather is already affecting events. The dynamic Abraham. Next Friday, the city of Grovetown is putting on an event for the entire family. And joining me today to talk about Summer Jam is Ashley Campbell. Ashley, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, of course, Sean. Our Leisure and Rec Department has really gone all out for this event. We have more than 43 vendors and a lot of them are food vendors. So we've got everything from shrimp and chicken kebab, barbecue, hamburgers, hot dogs, regular chicken fingers, shaved ice, and that's just to name a few. Uh, we've got two bands that are going to be playing throughout the day and just a lot of fun. And, you know, summer's here and we're ready to you know, give the people of Grove Town and anywhere really within the Columbia County, Richmond County, we don't care, just come out and have a good time. Yeah, and what date will, will this be? It's going to be next Friday, and it starts at 5.30, it ends at 10, we're going to be giving away t-shirts, um, we've got a raffle going on, and we do want to thank Ace Hardware in Grove Town for providing two big ticket items for this free raffle. It's definitely gonna make your summer a good one if you win those. So it's just a good time for everybody to come out. We did just sign on Tip Top Tap, so they're gonna be providing a variety of beer. So we want you to come out, have a beer, grab some food, bring the kids. We've got sport guns for them. We've got Frisbees, just a lot of fun. We wanna go ahead and kick summer off in the right way. And how did you guys and how did you guys come up with this event? And why is it so important to have spaces like this available for the community? Well, I think, you know, we've been inside for almost a year and a few months, many of us. And, you know, the summer's here, and we have not had a big event like this since the pandemic. So we decided to go all out. Our Leisure and Rec has really done a great job getting these vendors together, and the vendors are ready. You know, they've been cooped up, and they haven't been out and making money like they have been so we welcome them and we welcome everybody to come out and have some fun there really is something for everybody and give us the date the time and the location one more time sure it is at 10 40 newman town road that's liberty park and it's taking place friday 
June 25th. We kick off at 5.30 with one band. Then after they're done, another band is going to finish us off until 10.30. And like I said, we've got plenty of food, lots of food, actually. <laughs> but we've got other vendors that are for men, women, children. We're going to have an animal exhibit. If you want to test your strength, we've got axe throwing. We really do have a lot going on. Our leisure and rec department really made sure to have a little bit of something for everybody. So we're really expecting a great turnout and, you know, a lot of smiles and a lot of people enjoying themselves, which is what we've been waiting for. Sounds good to me, Ashley Campbell. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really do appreciate it. It's always a pleasure, Sean. Have a, have a good day. All right, you too. Well, we have several things to talk about today, including the flash flood watch for parts of our area in effect today at 2 p.m. Uh, more details on that and more on Tropical Storm Claudette coming up. Now, your most accurate forecast with WGBF Live Viper 6. All right, well, for the last several days and over a week now, we've been monitoring the system that's been in the Gulf of Mexico, and now as of 5 a.m. this morning, it is now Tropical Storm Claudette, our first tropical storm of the 2021 season. So here's a look at Claudette, the information on it, 45 mile per hour wind speeds right now, and it's moving north, north, northeast. So here's a look at that satellite and radar. Nothing's really affecting our area just quite yet, but that'll definitely change as we go into later this afternoon and evening. So here's a look at the track on Claudette. It just made landfall in southern Louisiana to the west of New Orleans. Now, it's going to stay as a tropical storm later today, but then it'll begin to weaken as it moves further over land. So by the time it hits us Sunday night into early Monday morning, it won't be as strong, but we definitely could still be seeing some effects and some severe weather. Definitely heavy rain at times. Now, notice as it goes back over the Atlantic Ocean, it will begin to strengthen again, possibly become a tropical storm. But once again, for us, by the time it's over us, we will not be dealing with tropical storm conditions. However, we will definitely still have heavy rain and possibly severe weather. So here's a look at Live Viper 6. Once again, nothing's happening in our area right now, but looking down to the south, a lot going on down here, especially around from Louisiana down to Alabama. Tornado watch and warning happening right now uh, around the Fairhope area of Alabama. To, um, tropical storm warnings, flood warnings, and watches. A lot of go stuff going on down here and some very heavy rain and strong thunderstorms. Now, here's a look at when we will start to see some effects. Future cast starting at noon today, just mostly cloudy skies. Now, as we go into 3 p.m. today, that's when we start to see some rain, especially in the northwestern parts of the CSRA. Now, by 6 p.m. tonight, though, that's when we have more widespread rain coverage and possibly some heavy uh Heavy rain at times, some severe thunderstorms. Now look at these uh, in Louisville, Swainsboro, heavy rain and possibly some thunder and lightning tonight. Now by 2 a.m., still some rain in the northern parts of our area, but then we have a break tomorrow morning around 6 a.m., and then the process repeats again tomorrow, but a little bit more significant tomorrow. Heavier rain and more chances for severe weather Sunday night into Monday especially. Here's a look at Sunday evening and by 3 a.m. Monday morning, that's when we're starting to see those heaviest areas, those red and magenta colors of rainfall. Now look at 10 a.m. Monday morning as well. That's when all this heavy rain will be exiting our area and that's when we'll be done with all that tropical moisture and all the effects of Claudette. But then as we go into later Monday evening into Tuesday, we have a cold front approaching our area and that's just going to bring even more rain. Now the good news is we will have periods of heavy rainfall but we're not expecting more than around two inches of rain with this event, and that's mostly going to be for our northern areas. There is a flash flood watch for these counties to the northeast in effect until 8 p.m. tomorrow evening. For today, nothing affecting our area, just a slight risk down south. But for tomorrow, we do have a marginal risk for severe weather, and we will have a Viper 6 alert day for Sunday and Monday. Uh, highest threats are going to be heavy rain and flooding. So what we can expect is periods of heavy rain, one to two inches of rain, mostly in the northern areas. Remember to follow us on social media and keep track of this system. We'll be posting updates periodically. And here's a look at the next 10 days, rain chances all the way through Tuesday with Claudette and the cold front and more rain next weekend as well. We'll be right back. <laughs> 